Welcome to the University of Simple Software video on one-click processing with Simple Index. With one-click processing we're able to run a job and have it go through completely automated with the user really doing nothing more than simply starting the process. Uh, in order to do that, let's take a look at a couple of different jobs here. So in this case we're going to open up Simple Index. Let's open up one of the jobs that comes in the, uh, in the sample group. Uh, we'll actually go up into the OCR and barcode samples and we're going to read invoices, B1, read invoices with barcodes. And you can see this job is set up, the buttons over here is labeled save and run uh, rather than what we might have seen earlier uh, with, with save index. Um, so this means that we're going to enter our information either ahead of time or that it's going to be found in the documents as the job goes through and the user won't have to interact at all. So if I just run this job we'll see that it's going to go through very quickly. We'll see the processing happen and then it exports and moves the files into the final location. So there really wasn't anything for the user to do. And the way that's achieved is in the if we look at our job options here in the configuration wizard and we go to the indexing and file naming button we can see this option here for pre-index batch. So if I turn that off by unchecking it and move down and complete and save my settings, finish, it's going to resave the job and exit the wizard. And so at this point you can see my buttons are back uh, to what we traditionally see, save all, save index. They're grayed out right now because we don't have the job running. So this is the exact same job. The difference is now when we run it, it'll go through and do the processing, but then it's going to show the user the results. So we actually go into our verification step uh, inside the simple view interface. So the user could, you know, see that the category is 123 ABC and that ABC123 is the other barcode. And then if we agree with all that, we could hit save all and it would go through and save everything out in that fashion. So the pre-index batch is just saying run this thing completely automatically without my user having to do any verification. So one place uh, where that's particularly useful is what we've just seen here is with barcodes. But another scenario, let's think of something where we're scanning a filing cabinet for example and every file in there we know that we're going to enter the same pieces of data about each of those documents. So what we could do is rather than waiting until those images appear on the screen to enter that, we could enter that label information ahead of time, hit save and run, and then all the files coming off of the scanner or out of my input folder will automatically be assigned those index values and saved out again without the user having to look at it page by page. So let's take a look at, it, at doing that sort of example. So we're going to open the job here and this time we're going to go to the uh, very similar job. We're going to uh, read invoices with zone OCR and we're going to go in here and we're going to make a few changes. By, by, by default this job is actually doing what it says it's reading with zone OCR but we're going to convert it to a job where the user is doing the input but the user is doing the input ahead of time. So let's go back into our wizard, again back to our indexing and file naming, and we're going to go in here and change the type on these. So we take each field, we're going to uh, edit, and we're instead of leaving it as an OCR where Simple Index attempts to look for it, we're going to set it to a template where the user is just going to type in a fixed number of characters, and this next right on through that, finish. Same thing here. I'm going to change that one to a template. Finish. And then the OCR, the last OCR field for company, we're going to change to a, a list. There's actually a list behind the scenes that's used for matching when we're doing this as OCR, but if we just change it to list, we can use it as a drop down just to choose that company. Finish. And then we also want to turn on our pre index batch. So we come down here, finish the job, it will save and exit the wizard. So you can see we have the save and run button now. So in this scenario we're just going to enter our information again ahead of time. And then the company we can choose one, let's say that it's Firefly Co. So now we've entered that information, we hit save and run, and it just goes through pulls in the documents and identifies them uh, exactly uh, using the information that we entered. Let's take a look at making this 
really the ultimate in automation where it's just double clicking a shortcut and the whole process happens unattended. So let's go back to the job with the um, read invoices with barcodes that we were looking at before, B1. Let's go back into the wizard here and in indexing a file naming, turn back on that pre-index batch that we had turned off just to take a look at it. So we'll leave here, finish, and save, yes. And then let's go to the folder where that job is first. I can actually go to input folder and then just go up one level right here. And I'm going to take the job and I'm going to drag it out while right clicking to my desktop. And I'm going to create a shortcut. Now let's close everything. What this lets me do is I can run the job literally just by double clicking that shortcut. It's going to open simple index. It's going to minimize out of the way because it's just doing things in the background. We can continue doing other work. Um, and then when it's finished, it's going to close itself out. So let's watch that happen. So just briefly, Simple Linux pops up, goes away, moves down here to my, my desktop, and then when it's finished, it closes out, leaving me with those completed files in the output folder. So that's what pre-index batch can do for you. It's pretty powerful. It lets you make everything automated and, and even takes it as far as just literally clicking on an icon and seeing essentially nothing else happen. The process has just happened in the background. Another way you could use this is if uh, you're calling things from the command line. When the job's set to pre-index, the user could just send a command, say, out of a database or something. The job happens in the background just like we saw there, and then the, uh, the files end up in their output location uh, when it's been called from a third-party uh, program. So that's pretty much it. I hope that's been helpful, and we look forward to talking to you in the next video. Thanks.